Good morning. August 24, 2015. We had today on this S&P 500, we had a capitulation. The last capitulation that we had was May 6 of 2010 when we were covering that intraday capitulation. This capitulation on August 24th of 2015 was a greater value in price drop on the S&P and all the key indexes compared to then. We started out with the gap down. We started to sell in right over here where it started to really drop. And this is a 60 minute chart. And we started way up here at 2076 on the 19th of August. Today's date on this hourly chart, we went to uh, on the low, the low was 1867 on this S&P 500. You do the math. We opened at 1965 on the S&P and we dropped a hundred points in this one hourly open bar and we come all the way back up to hit this high right here at nine one nine five four we dropped over a hundred points here that's the end of the story this is a capitulation a capitulation is where all the stock market orders get taken out all the sellers are panicking out once that is done we get a big trade off of the bottom these are how capitulations work and this is what we call the great left elbow in the MMT uh, trading platform that we have and these are the bounces right here is that wall of resistance but look at the recovery we have the recovery from 1867 here and we hit a high right here at uh, 1954 that's almost a hundred points off of the bottom in this capitulation on this 60 minute chart what I'm showing here on that S&P capitulation, the difference between what? Once again, May 6th to 2010, we had an intraday capitulation. This one here started with the big gap down. And let me tell you that on 824, we had a huge move. The S&P capitulation lost 98 points and here's the deal we came all the way back over here I'm gonna draw a horizontal trend line that's this bottom end this is where back in 2014 we had that big rally I am telling everybody the the first and foremost is what is the difference of capitulations and how do they work well it takes out all of the people that had stop loss programs here at stockmarketfunding.com you want to find out we had told everybody right here the Dow the S&P everything right here in the video man that we were going down four to six weeks and we were going to go down lower the timestamp is on here go back and see what we had to say prior to what prior to day meaning that we're not talking about this after it made the move like all your pundits that's not talent the talent is that we have the timestamp and basically we're dealing with an, uh, a, a gap open down and we went just straight ripping down all the way to 1850 well when we were up here at 2150 down here to 1850 close enough that's a 200 point overall drop in this S&P 500 on this daily chart and we were always buying the dip we said that on the opening bell this morning how to buy that dip and why is it that capitulations always come up off of the bottom well I will tell everybody one thing 
the exchanges have a circuit breaker. And when we hit a certain percent level, that circuit breaker kicks into the market. They designed this circuit breaker because of the capitulation, like the ones we had in 1987. This one's very familiar as to what we're doing here and the one in 1987, the year 2000, then the year 2008, all had capitulations. And basically with the new technology that is being used in exchanges today, they can stop that panic selling on a dime. This is the S&P dropping 98 points. That is bigger than big. And we were overbought and we're going to go into September and this index is going to bounce as you can see to right there's the body here's the wick right here and these are the trend lines right here where we broke below this early in the year we went straight barreling right through it and all I can say right now is that the um, the um, technical damage is done up here it's very bad uh, for um, even though that we're buying stuff it's for a trade we buy stuff off of the bottom and then we sell into it right away I am going to show another chart that's very very important and basically it's going to be this monthly chart on this S&P 500 this is calendar 2015 these were the bottoms over here in 2014 the blue line is a 10-month rising moving average that's starting to, to tilt, to go down. And same thing with the red line. That's a 20-month uh, simple moving average. Everybody's going to try to debate what today was about. Listen, the math doesn't lie. All the pundits and all of their analysis, all of their guessing, all of their hoping, all of trying to build a case, bull crap. Bull crap. This is the month of August. This is the biggest selling month on the S&P right here. I mean, when you take a look at where we were on 8-1, we were at 21.12 on the S&P. And now today's low is 18.67 on that S&P. And basically, this is a bigger capitulation than any of them. Going back to the uh, movie that we made was called, what? The Ghost Exchange. We encourage you to watch the high-frequency uh, movie that we made. High-frequency trading uh, seminars. But listen, this is called The Ghost Exchange. This was the May 6th of 2010 capitulation you better watch it so that you can understand it and then after that it would be who of you to sign up for our free trial where everything will be revealed to who directly to you you're not going to find that anywhere else and we know it and this S&P has got the technical damage going into September normally what we see today is normally what would happen in September in uh, asset allocation swap. Sell the winners, buy the dogs. This is the S&P capitulation. That's the monthly chart. We've showed it all. We're going to be in ranges. Right now, S&P is only down 48 points versus the 98 points. So it's come back 50 points. But let me tell you something. We are going to have oversold ranges to buy off of the dip, but then to sell immediately when that when that S and P 500 stock hits that resistance level, you got to sell it and sell it short. So the trading ranges are going to increase, which is extremely good for who? For us. For us, yes, it is. It's good for our market maker division. It's good for you to take the free five day trial. It's good for you to get involved here with our options exchange, our uh, stock exchange. We have our own exchange here. Our own prices, our proprietary prices versus the public prices. We own our own exchange model. 
is the high frequency algorithmic algos that are used in both HFT and other sources that have implemented them and you can basically just get started today high frequency trading courses you got everything to learn just get more you want to open an account we will give you buying power and fund your trading account that's exactly what we will do you take the next step you follow the truth you stay here you listen to what's going to happen before it happens make all the right moves for who specifically you this is a typical capitulation that had a greater value than any capitulation that we have seen in many years uh, May 6th everybody 2010 uh, S&P uh, dropped big this one dropped even bigger and this is the place to be